Thanksgiving 2024. By Whitney Defoe. My father was just in here helping me and told me that it was Thanksgiving and he was brining the turkey today and mom will do the rest tomorrow. It reminded me of my Aunt Holly and Uncle Rex cooking together. I won't be a part of Thanksgiving this year again, for the 13th year in a row. I'll be alone in my room without any festivities. Because my health is more important than trying to celebrate a holiday I don't care about except for the family and if I push myself to be a part of the family day, I'll just get sick and not be able to be with them anyways. Or I'll get worse for months and miss the few sustainable visits from them that I do get, the short, controlled visits that don't make my health worse. So I'll be alone, like many of you. I've missed so much. Both Holly and Rex died while I was sick. My parents have gone from sprite old age, able to backpack if not for taking care of me, to elderly, hardly able to stand or walk without a lot of pain. I'll never go backpacking with them again. There are a million things I will never do again. They just keep adding up as the years go by. And as the people around me age, the opportunities for life experiences I have lost add up too. My cousin is three now and my niece is four. I've hardly met them. The thing I really feel this Thanksgiving as I lie here with COVID sick and out of it, is the precious beauty of life. I look back and I see so many beautiful moments that I had no idea I would lose. All of them. I lost all of them. But I can still feel them. Life out there in the vast world, churning on and it is truly beautiful. Someday I will be a part of it again. For now, I hibernate with the rest of you. Love Whitney.